Well, Josh Rogan's a reporter for the Daily Beast. He joins us live now from across town in Doha. Thanks very much indeed. Josh Rogan, I noticed I'm one of your many uh, Twitter followers. I noticed that you remarked on the fact that Edward Snowden felt that he needed to leave the US, that he felt that he would not be safe in the United States. Can I ask you to elaborate on that thought? Sure. Well, Edward Snowden has now admitted uh, to providing the source documents that led to uh, stories both in the Guardian paper of the UK and the Washington Post about uh, secret, previously secret uh, surveillance programs run by the National Security Agency. Uh, that is a violation of U.S. law, and his case has been referred to the Justice Department for possible prosecution. Uh, Edward did take preemptive measures to go to Hong Kong, uh, where he is expected to seek asylum. Uh, there is an extradition treaty between the U.S. and Hong Kong. It does have an exception for politically motivated prosecutions, and Beijing does have the ability to overrule extradition. So all of these issues will now come into play. Yeah, I, I guess, it, sorry, I probably use the wrong word in saying safe, but I guess, I mean, perhaps he doesn't feel he could get a fair trial. Uh, w what would be your view on that? Uh, well, we've seen the Obama administration in particular go after whistleblowers uh, with uh, unprecedented uh, enthusiasm over the last uh, four years of this administration. Uh, of course, he would be entitled to a fair trial, uh, but that process could take years, and uh, he believes that uh, uh, he has a better chance of uh, staying free uh, in Hong Kong where he is, and we'll have to wait and see if that's the case. There is, uh, understandably, a lot of concern about this right across the United States. What are the political implications, do you think, for President Obama's administration? Right. President Obama came into office both with a promise of transparency and accountability in government and also a promise uh, to protect whistleblowers. Uh, it is the feeling amongst the majority of the uh, press and uh, that he has uh, uh, gone back on both of these pledges and this case uh, could be an example of both of these instances. Uh, this is a, a part of the, the, the global war on terrorism policies that were begun by the Bush administration that have been increased uh, during the Obama administration. Uh, and now we'll start a public debate over uh, their efficacy and their constitutionality. Uh, that debate would not have been possible if these disclosure, disclosures had not come to light. Uh, and now this will be debated both in the public and in Congress, and the administration will have to defend its actions. Yeah, interestingly, I noticed that uh, right-wing commentators on uh, Fox News Network, uh, Glenn Beck actually, has been saying that he lords Edward Snowden's actions. Are we going to see um, uh, the Republican part actually taking the side of whistleblowers like this to expose their democratic rivals. Right. So far, what we've seen is that uh, the reaction has not fallen down on strictly on party lines uh, because members of Congress and almost all senators were briefed on these programs uh, in a classified setting. Uh, many in both parties have come out to defend them. That's been a, a very unpopular position. At the same time, there are uh, people in both parties who have been very critical. These are people who are, are more uh, inclined to defend uh, 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 free, free and open uh, communications and resist government intrusion into, uh, pu into private life. Uh, so it won't break down on party lines. Uh, but there will be many people who defend it and many people who do not. Uh, I'm sure we'll look forward to a very vigorous debate on civil liberties in the United States in the weeks to come. Thank you, Josh Rogan of The Daily Beast. Anytime.